To do this problem in its current form, I would have to apply quotient rule. So I like to avoid that. So I am going to start by multiplying both sides by x squared plus 1. So x squared plus 1 times y squared equals x minus 1. And yeah, let's see. I'll go ahead and distribute the y squared. x squared y squared plus y squared equals x minus 1. And now differentiating implicitly, I'm going to get x squared times 2y, y prime, plus, finish the product rule, 2x, y squared, next term, 2y, y prime, equals 1. Uh, plugging in the coordinate, so I'm going to have 4, let me move down a little, uh, let's see, 4 times 2 times root 5 over 5, y prime plus 2 times 2, so 4 times, if you square the y value, you're going to get 5 over 25, plus 2 times the y value, so 2 root 5 over 5, y prime equals 1, uh, let's see, so that's going to be 8 root 5 over 5, y prime plus, that's going to reduce to 1 fifth, so 4 fifths, plus 2 root 5 over 5, y prime equals 1. Combining like terms, I'm going to have 10 root 5 over 5, which is just going to be 2 root 5, so 2 root 5, y prime, move the 4 fifths over as a negative, so 1 fifth, and so y prime will be 1 fifth, times 1 over 2 root 5, giving us 1 over 10 root 5. And let's see. And that is going to be our slope value. So using with the given coordinate, the tangent line is going to be y minus root 5 over 5 equals 1 over 10 root 5 times x minus 2. And so on Desmos, now the Desmos did not come through in the question, but it's, if you were to graph this, it's going to, the original curve is going to look something like this. And then the tangent line is going to come in something like that, touching right here at the given coordinate.